Hey guys, Harris here, and iOS 11 was just announced today at WWDC 2017. While it was underwhelming in some aspects, there are some new design tweaks, design language, new features, Siri integration, uh, and some general overhauls to the OS to make it more complete and to impact you and me, hopefully for the better. Some things you'll like and some things you'll dislike, just like most things in life. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new things that you can expect on iOS 11 on your iPhone. So first things first, I think it's only fair that we take a look at the wallpaper options, and you can see not much has changed here. Uh, it's actually gotten pretty limited over the years in terms of the wallpapers. Nothing crazy, nothing like uh, Google's offering these days. So the wallpapers, you can see the selection there. Okay, so the first thing I noticed when I turned this on is that swiping up when I was trying to get into Control Center brings up more notifications. So that's something that's new and kind of cool and of course if you swipe over you get to your uh, now view and stuff like that your your widgets and whatnot now if you want to get into control center if this will work you're gonna have to swipe up really from the bottom you're gonna have to make it a really direct movement instead of just the casual swipe up because now that brings up notifications so if we go ahead and go into control center, you can see it is radically different for the better or for the worse, basically like a bunch of Apple Watch widgets here. Now what's cool is that you can now customize this. If we go into control center and we go here, you see you now have the option to customize it. So while it is redesigned and you see the new toggles for things like brightness and sound, uh, you can now customize it, which is cool. Now swiping over still gets you to your camera and the camera app looks pretty much the same. Uh, you can see a few different things new such as uh, the new filter overlay. And you now have a horizontally scrolling uh, filter menu much more like Instagram rather than the previous box and grid design. So I'm taking a look at Siri. You can see that there is a slightly different font and also there's a new option for typing to Siri. So if you don't want to speak your commands, you can go ahead and type them out, which is new. Now Siri also sees new changes uh, and includes now translations. So I can do things like, hey Siri, what is happy birthday in Spanish? And it will tell me Feliz cumpleaños, just like that. And that works really well. There's also been an update to the App Store app. Brand new redesign, much more card-like, uh, very similar to how Photos as well as Apple Music looks. This is definitely a new look and I'm a fan of this. It looks really clean. There's also a split keyboard view now. If you hold onto the emoji button, you can choose between having it centered on the left or the right or back to the middle, so this is great for one hand operation and typing. There's also a brand new way to manage live photos. Before you just had the simple live mode that would do the same thing over and over, but now you get a few different effects such as loop or bounce or long exposure. And these all are really cool and basically give you more options for your live photos to make them more enjoyable. And a lot of them look like Instagram boomerangs, which is really cool. And so yeah, that's what you can expect to get with iOS 11. Uh, definitely, I would say upgrade more for the iPad and hopefully I'll have a video out for that soon. Uh, but for the iPhone, there are a few small things and probably more to come in future updates. But as of right now, this is a pretty nice upgrade with a couple new elements. Definitely a slight redesign. Uh, but let me know what you think of this and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.